When I first started, I never heard of no other visual folk artist, but I thought of myself as a folk artist in the sense of Woody Guthrie. Um, growing up along train tracks, stuff like that, being, you know, Americana and a sense of true freedom. I remember my grandmother gave me some crayons and a coloring book, and I left the coloring book on the kitchen table and went back into the room and started coloring on, on the walls. And uh, that's my earliest recollection of making art. Sometimes I'm in a trance, a self-imposed, self-hypnotized trance, where I got one hand in the spirit world and one hand in this world. Yeah, you can hypnotize yourself making art, and it can take you places in your imagination. And this is the uh, story that's told to my imagination. I'm not cognizant of what I'm doing when I'm making art. It just materializes in front of me. I got a whole drum core playing in my head, a beat that, uh, you know, they say like he marched to the beat of his own drummer and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a whole army of drummers inside my head. <laughs>